Hey everyone, okay, today we're going to talk about bubble shot, selection shot, and insertion shot in Swift using Swift. How do we do these shortings? And then in the next video, we'll talk about merge shot, and then in that next to that, we'll talk about quick shot. Okay, so let's talk about uh, we'll quickly talk about bubble insertion and selection. I won't, wouldn't take much time. Um, okay, so shorting means you'll have some array which is not sorted so some random elements you'll have to short these elements right so we have this area over here and we have to short it so this from here to here is bubble short what bubble short does is bubble short compares all the elements one by one and short them based on their values it is called bubble short because with each iteration small element in the list bubble ups toward the first place okay so let's do it so for first iteration we see it is iterating from 0 to the count of the array and then second iteration it is iterating from uh, 0 to count of the array minus i minus 1 so it will deduct minus i like uh, the number what we have over here so let's see so for first element it is so it is it will start with 0 so i is 0 and then j j is also 0 and we are deducting uh, 0 over here minus 1 okay so it will be like AR count 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so that will be 6 and over here it's 7 so what happens is with each uh, iteration we have the uh, biggest element at the end for sure so let's say 3 if we compare 3 and 4 3 will be here and 4 will be here because 3 is already small but if we compare 4 and 2 2 will bubble up or to this position and 4 will come to third position if we compare 2 uh, 4 and 5 4 will be here and 5 will be here because it's already small if we compare 5 and 7 again 5 and 7 is already short, sorted if we compare 7 and 6 7 will bubble up over here and 6 will bubble up over here so we'll be um, you know uh, replacing these element with each other and then if we compare 7 and 1 7 will bubble up over here and 1 will bubble up over here so with each iteration we'll have the uh, highest value at the end of our uh, new array okay so that's why that's why we are deducting the like we are just comparing till till here only for first and then till here only for second because these two elements will already be shorted and the highest value okay so we have two for loops and in this we just compare that whether a our array of first element and second element uh, you know if the first element is greater then we do uh, this uh, replacement right uh, this bubbling up from one place to another place so if first element is 0, 3, and second element is 4, g plus 1, this, then in that case, we don't have, it won't come in this loop. But for this, 4 and 2, uh, in the next loop, 4 and 2, we will will have to change it. So we take a temporary variable, and the temporary variable, we just keep our next variable, like 2 will keep in temporary, and then in... Uh, you know in at the place of 2 we'll just uh, put array of g so that 4 will go in in the place of this uh, third place right and then uh, we'll keep our temporary variable in ar of g that will be like this one okay this is bubble short and as we see we have like two for loops over here so the worst case time complexity will be um, o n square okay because if it is not at all sorted and in best best case we'll have o o n time complexity okay so this was bubble shot let's see insertion um first let's see selection shot okay in selection shot uh, what happens is uh, we first find the smallest element in the array and then exchange it with the element in the first position so Let's say if we have this array, we'll have to find the smallest element in this array and then we just uh, replace 
like we just put this uh, smallest element at the first position and then we'll put this at this um, what, wherever the smallest element was okay so we just exchange the position of uh, the first element with the smallest element uh, and then so on so uh, first we'll find the first smallest element and then replace it with the first element then we'll find the second smallest element and then replace it with the element in the second position so this is how it works so let's see how we do it in Swift so we have this array and then uh, min will have a variable called min which will hold the minimum value uh, index of uh, minimum uh, value in array so that is zero and then we have one more variable called j and we have a for loop from i to uh, from zero to count of the array and then we'll put our uh, we'll initialize our minimum with the first element the zeroth element element so four will be will be so we'll just assume that uh, at the value which is at first position is the smallest element and we'll just keep it in our min okay and then j would be the next element that this one i plus one okay and then we'll uh, have a for loop from here to here and we'll just compare this element with all of these uh, elements okay uh, so stride stride means um, it is like another way of doing for loop it says that stride from j j is like uh, j uh, 0 plus 1 right so this element 1 position 1 to uh, count of array so from here to here it will run and by 1 like it will increment by 1 so this is a for loop only okay and then in this we'll just check that whether this element which we have considered as our minimum uh, value in the array is greater than any of these value if it is greater then it means that it is not you know it is not the uh, minimum value right and then we'll replace it we'll just say that okay our min is not this our min will be this one so we'll just compare uh, array of min that is 4 array of j that is 3 and then min is actually greater than our j so we'll say no so min will be j so this position would so position one will our be will be our minimum array and then we do the replacement so in temporary array we'll have our area of i so this one over here in this particular loop uh, will have three in temp and then area of i will have array of minimum so we'll just replace we're just replacing right so exchange like bubble up like the bubble shot will just put three in over here and four over here so so that we don't lose any of our value we keep a temporary variable and in temporary variable we'll just keep our three in temporary variable for a temporary period of time and once we have four over here we'll keep three in this so that's how we'll do for all of this array okay so that's how um, selection short work and time clock complexity of selection short will be o n square for worst case even for best case it is o n square in average case it is o n square so it is not very good algorithm and it's really bad actually the bubble short was actually o n for best case at least but even for best case it is o n square so it is not very good so avoid using it okay. Let's see insertion short. Insertion short is actually better than bubble and selection short. That's what they, they say. So what, what it does is in this short, we take a key and compare it with the elements ahead of it and put the key in the right place. Okay. So we'll just take a key. So as uh, other algorithms, we'll take our first element as key element and then we'll compare it with the other elements. If it is greater, then we'll just replace it. So this this is what we were we have been doing, right? No, okay. So we'll be comparing it with the L uh, elements ahead of this. So for first loop, 
we don't have anything ahead of it so that's why our key should start with the first element not the zeroth element so we'll not start by zero we'll start by one that's why you see for loop over here we are starting by one and then ending till array of count so we'll start from here and we'll check whether the element ahead of this uh, key element is greater than or less than of this if it is greater then we'll replace it if it is not then we'll leave it okay so this is what we'll do with every element so for next two we'll check both of these elements and if any of these elements are less than uh, i mean greater than this this element then we'll replace it okay so same thing j will be our i so j is also one and key our key element is array of i so that would be three right key element is three for this array and then for again we'll run a for loop for anything uh, ahead of key so this for loop will run only for uh, how many times uh, one time okay because only there is only one element ahead of this so this for loop will run for only one time and stride will use stride over here also and this will be decremented so j is one and it will be decremented to zero so if it if once it reaches to zero will come out of this for loop so for first loop it will only run for one time for second loop it will run for two time so for each of these uh, loop it will check uh, the, it will compare the key element with every element ahead of this ahead of the key element and if any element is uh, greater than the key element then we'll replace it so if j minus 1 <clears throat> like let's say 5 is greater than key 3 then we'll replace it because it should be less than because anything it is the starting element should be lesser right the value should be less so we'll just do our exchange thing again we'll have a temporary variable and then in temporary we'll take the value of j this one right and then in j we'll keep the value of j minus 1 5 and then in j minus 1 like 3 we'll keep the value of temp so yeah this will keep going on until we have our shorter array so this is this is like for worst case it is o n square and best case if the like array is already shorted then we'll have time complexity of o n this is actually better because you know we are not comparing the comparing you know we're not running the second for loop again for you know array of count which is not that good actually but so it is better so yeah these are selection insertion and merge sorry selection insertion and bubble shot in the next video i'll talk about quick shot and then we'll talk about mug shot thanks for watching have a good day bye bye